What am I saying? I really like like one on one conversations. Mm, same. Um, and I feel like there's not enough of that. And people are different. Like some people like big social groups and other people like smaller intimate stuff. Um, but like making taking the time to get to know people. Yeah. Asking the tough questions and just like and answering honestly. I'm so sick of people just like saying, I'm fine. Like, yeah. Tell me more than that. Sarah McDonald, I guess. Okay. And how old are you? I'm 31. So, Sarah, who are you on a soul level? Who? Oh my gosh, what a crazy question. <laughs> who am I on a soul level? Um, I think I'm quirky and kind, um, kind of like childlike in some ways but also driven and ambitious. Um, and I can be bossy sometimes. Okay. Child like how? Mm, I see like the details in the world. Like, mm. like when there's a bug on the sidewalk, I notice it. Or um, I like... I like to watch Disney movies and kind of, I don't know, like lean into the little kid self, I guess. I feel that. (laughs) So is there anything that's happened or that's happening right now that kind of has had a a really big part in who you are today, like who you've become as Mm -hmm. a woman? The biggest thing that's happened... I mean, that's how I'm interpreting it, mm-hmm. the biggest thing that's happened. So, my brother died two years ago, and I think that is, like, the, that's definitely the most significant thing I've ever experienced, the most, like, life-shaking, ground-breaking mm-hmm. type of thing, like, traumatic, but my therapist would say I haven't processed it fully, um... And then I'm still kind of in, like, the denial stage. But I'm in therapy, obviously, and pushing myself to, like, work through that process and all that it is. Were you guys close in age? Yeah, he was three years younger than me. Um, We grew up really close, treated like boy and girl. Like, Mm -hmm. I was the older sister and he was the little brother. And he would torment me, um, (laughs) but I always really loved him a lot um I remember like being protective of him wanting to take care of him and just really enjoying being around him he was really different than I was though um like macho not macho but like outgoing vivacious like the life of the party always had friends always Mm -hmm. like wanted to be around his friends and I am much more introverted um and comfortable being by myself so I always admired that in him. So with your therapist saying that you haven't processed it, are you someone that kind of pushes away, like, feelings just to oh, kind of, like, keep yeah. going? Okay. I'm 100% avoidant. Um, I don't like feeling uncomfortable feelings, whether that's, like, anxiety, fear, sadness, depression, anger. Um, I like stuff things and distract myself with other things and distracting can either be like planning things to look forward to or like isolating and watching television Mm. that's my favorite distraction (laughs) what are some of your favorite things on tv right now oh um my husband and i are watching the handmaid's tale which i'm obsessed with are you on the most recent season or did you start from the beginning we started from the beginning i think we're either in season two or season three. I don't know where it is. 
but I'm really into it. It's really good. Um, my, what, what else do I like to watch? I love Real Housewives. I love The Kardashians. The Kardashians is like my favorite escapist show. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Um, my husband won't like watch it, so <laughs> I have to watch it when he's not here because he thinks it's like sucking the life out of my soul. So <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to give you three categories, and I want you to tell me what means the most to you and what means the least, and okay. you can uh, switch them out however you want to. Okay. So the first is love, sex, and relationships. Mm-hmm. The next is society, culture, and politics. Mm-hmm. And the third is spirituality and or religion. So in your life, what kind of takes the front seat and why? Say them again. Love, sex, relationships, Uh society, culture, politics, spirituality, and or religion. The first one. The love, sex, and relationships. Okay. And what was the second part of the question? Why? Why? I think that's, like, most of what I think about. You know, my relationships with other people, my relationship with my husband, my relationship with my family. Um, That is definitely what, like means the most to me in Mm -hmm. my life like my relationships with people I'm not somebody who has a ton of relationships I keep like a small circle um but the people that I keep close to me I care a lot about um yeah and I want to like be my best self in those relationships okay yeah um, so what was, did you say what was next? Or So society, culture, politics, and then spirituality and or religion were the next two categories. Um, I would say, like, spirituality, probably. Um, I don't think of myself as a religious person, but definitely spiritual and... Like, ha- like, and when I think about spirituality, I think of, like, my part in the universe, in the greater picture, um, and how, like, I impact the world as a whole and trying to, like, make meaning of, like, who am I in this great big world that we live in, mm-hmm. um, and, like, what it means to be, like, a human and, and, and that con- goes back to, like, the human interaction thing, like, connecting with other people. Um, when I think of spirituality, I think of, like, human connection and doing stuff like this, like, sharing pieces of myself with other people. Um, yeah. Okay. So that leaves society, culture, and politics. So why is that last? And kind of where do you stand with all of those things? Society, culture, and politics. Whew. So I hate our president. I have stopped watching the news since he got elected. Um, I was devastated by the, I guess it was 2016 election, I was really invested in, like, a woman becoming president. I was Mm -hmm. really excited about that. Yeah. Um, And I don't think of myself as a super political person. It doesn't dominate most of my thoughts, but I'm, I care about it. I'm passionate about it. Um, I don't think there's much I can do about it other than, like, vote for the people that I care about. Um, and try to educate myself, which I think I try to do. Yeah. Um, Signing culture. And as far as culture goes, I like, like my husband and I go and travel and go to museums and go see art. He's really like expanded my worldview in that way. Mm -hmm. Um, In terms of culture, I'm like a bubblegum pop teeny bopper princess at heart like Taylor Swift and Beyonce that's my jam (laughs) but he's really opened my eyes to other types of music and art and experiences Um, so I'm really grateful for that that's awesome yeah okay so I'm gonna get you to draw so I just want you to (laughs) so I just want you to pick colors um that represent you and your life and the things that make you happy and you can pick as many colors as you want to okay 
So gotta go with some blue. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. Mm. I'm really into this like neon orange right now. I don't know why. That looks good with the blue. Pink. I'm like being very careful about what colors I choose. Like <laughs> I'm being tested on it. So I'm just gonna ask you to, is there any specific reason other than the fact that you just like those colors as you I just them? like them. Okay. So just, um, you can draw whatever you want and I'm just gonna ask you questions and you don't have to finish. Nobody really ever does. Okay. Um, but it's just kind of so you can do something else like as you. Instead of fiddling with my jeans. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so the first question, um, what makes you the most upset? Like what really pisses you off? Mm, pisses me off or makes me sad? Um, like pisses. let's do sad and then we can do like pisses you off. Sad, um, like when I feel lonely, I think. Yeah, when I feel lonely. Like when I'm, yeah. Lonely. Depressed. Like yeah. that. Do you get lonely easily or can somebody just like be around and you're fine? Mm. I don't, I don't think I've felt lonely in a while. Okay. Um, like being married helps. I'm probably a little codependent. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Like the loss of my brother, there was some like loneliness there because there's nobody else that I'll ever be able to like share that specific relationship with. Like, right. Or like experiences, like we were raised the same way, we have the same parents, like we grew up in the same neighborhood, like we went on all the same vacations and like that loss is almost like the death of my like childhood self. Mm. Um, which there's like, there's definitely a sadness with that. Um, it was like he died and then I got married six or four months later and were you already like, planning to get married adult. yes okay we got engaged um like a year and a half before we got married and matt and fletcher had met a few times um i don't think could, more than a few times like a few holidays and stuff they certainly didn't know each other very well mm -hmm. which makes me kind of sad yeah. um but yeah he died my brother died in July and then we got married in October so that's like four months so I was really I like didn't spend that time even like grieving properly I like drove back into work I like distracted myself with wedding planning stuff and um like being married and all of that um yeah but there's definitely a sadness there's 100% a hundred percent of sadness that goes into like, like I'm not a kid anymore. Like this is the first difficult thing I've ever experienced in my life. And um, I'm like an adult trying to figure out how I deal with it. Right. What does it look like moving forward? That didn't even really answer the question, but. You did. I don't know. <laughs> you did. You're doing great. <laughs> Um, so as far as what makes you really upset, as far as like angry, angry, oh God, I get angry. Just like little annoyances when people do things that I don't agree with. I get really pissed off. Mm. Um, people at work drive me crazy <laughs> when they're just like, like show up, like be engaged, be present, be here. Um, when, yeah, when people don't do things that I don't agree with, I have a big problem with, like, thinking that I know what's best for everybody around me. Mm. Um, and that really gets me going. I have a hard time with acceptance. Working on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what excites you more than anything? Ooh. Um, good news. Like... 
my husband came home last night and told me that he got really good news that we might be able to go on this really exciting vacation and he had like kept it a secret from me that he was like taking steps to um like go on this vacation that I want to go on and he reached out to his family member and he like did it all behind the scenes so he just like came at home and was like I have good news that and then I like squeal like a little girl I'm so Aww. excited um and like when he when he shares good things with me when my parents share good things with me when my friends do um like pregnancies weddings mm. engagements like births all of that stuff yeah. I get really excited about the big stuff in life. Yeah. yeah. You know, like major change. Yeah. Um, where is the vacation, if you don't mind me asking? Like, we are trying to go to Hawaii. Oh, cool. Which I'm super excited about. I don't, we don't know 100% if it's going to happen yet. Yeah. But he, like, reached out to a family member who is going to try and, like, get us some deals with, um, like, a hotel that he works for, so... Yeah. I'm excited. I hope you get to go. Thank you. You will go. Yes, we will. <laughs> um, what are you most afraid of? Most afraid of... Um, I think losing people. Mm. Losing... Yeah, I mean, losing people in, like, dying, like, natural disasters. Um... That is a new fear that's developed since my brother died. Um, I have, like, death. Death. Even more than, like, losing people. And, like, freak disasters. My brother died rock climbing. He was rock climbing with friends, and he fell. And it was, like, very sudden, very tragic. And now I'm, like, afraid of heights. Like, when we're in the ocean and we're swimming, I will get scared that, like, a shark will come or, like, a riptide will, like, come and drown me. Yeah. Um, These like, are valid fears, though. They are. They are. But it's, like, a new thing, and they're very, like, heightened right now because, mm-hmm. like, my husband is in construction, and he is, like, on roofs, mm-hmm. and I'm, like, super afraid that like some freak accident will happen to him and it doesn't dominate like a lot of my thoughts but when he's telling me about like crazy things he's doing I get like a panic it's like don't tell me yeah (laughs) or just like be fucking safe right right like wear your harness don't lift things that are 600 pounds just be smart for sure yeah Okay. <laughs> to make a face that explains you, like if you were an expression, what would it be? Uh, like, like silly tongue out. I always stick my tongue out in pictures when people say like make a silly face. I stick my tongue out. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm very aware that I'm being filmed right now too, <laughs> which is weird, but no. Um, what's your favorite song right now? My favorite song right now. I just heard the Nicki Minaj Hot Girl Summer, which is a jam. Um, that's a good one. But, like, that's a super tough question because mm-hmm. there's different songs for different moods. Like, if I'm trying to, like, pump myself up, it's Beyonce Countdown. Um... If I'm feeling really, like, melancholic and sad, my husband puts on, like, Death Cab for Cutie, and Mm. it's very, like, emo and all in the feelings. Um, I like anything Kanye. Anything and everything Kanye. And Taylor Swift. I don't really like the new Taylor Swift stuff, though. I'm really disappointed by it. Mm. I feel like she's, I don't know, I'm just not into it. I understand. <laughs> um, explain to me what social media is to you. Like, how do you use it, and what do you think about it? How do I... So I... You, I... I 
have to look cute to post anything. Like, hair has to be, like, somewhat... I'm not, like, super... I'm not a super dolled-up person, but, Mm -hmm. like, I have to have a cute outfit on and all that stuff. Or, like, be in a good mood. I'll never post anything when I'm feeling sad or down. Um... I, we po- I post stuff when we go on trips and travel, um, if there's, like, a special event, like a birthday. I'm not a big poster. And even if just, like, the mood strikes, like, every now and then I'll post, like, an Insta stories just, like, sitting at my dining room table. I think I did that one time. Mm-hmm. Um, but special events always get, like, some kind of post. Um, but I use it to like check out it's like a distraction um I prefer Instagram to Facebook because it's easy to just like swipe through mindlessly Mm -hmm. um a lot of what I follow I follow a lot of celebrities a lot of like pop culture stuff um Kardashians of course um I might have a different experience with it if I followed more like inspirational mm. accounts because yeah. I know they're out there I just don't take the time to look for them but then I get FOMO because these like Instagram celebrities are on these like paid vacations to yeah. God knows where every other week mm-hmm. um, and I don't like notice when it's happening to me like when I'm like going down the rabbit hole and like starting to feel bad because I'm just looking at social media um, but I think my husband does, and he hates when I'm on my phone because he thinks that I'm like not connecting with him when I'm doing it, which is true. Um, he likes me to like likes us to like be in the moment and mm-hmm. not be like in our phone world. Phone land is what we call it. <laughs> it's so funny. Phone land. Um. So does he not have social media, or is he He, just not really... He has Facebook, and he doesn't really use it. Every now and then, he'll post things. Like, when we'll go on a trip, he'll post things. Like, when we're doing something exciting that we want people to see. Mm -hmm. Or, like, he posts stuff from work sometimes that he's, like, proud of. Yeah. Um, But I don't think he, like, swipes through it. He doesn't have Instagram, Mm. which I think is, like, more swipe-friendly. Yeah. He also says that his, like, the people he follows, I don't know if this is a good thing to say, but, like, the people he follows on Facebook are, like, not doing interesting things that he wants to see. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's not, like, stuck on it, yeah. like, or feeling bad. He's like, I don't care what these people are saying or doing, so I don't look at it. <laughs> so I'm like, I want to be doing what they're doing, or whatever. Right. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you consider yourself to be someone that kind of lives in the moment, or do you plan everything out, like, beforehand? Um, I think I'm more in the moment. I'm not a planner. Okay. Um, not a planner. Like, when, when I f- have situations, I don't, there's so many different, like, contexts you could think about this, like... At work, I'm not even really a planner. Like, I schedule out my week with, like, stuff that I'm doing during the week. But, like, I don't plan out, like, what it's going to look like within that time frame. Like, I schedule meetings and that sort of thing. Um, I don't don't have anything really in my calendar, like, more than a month out. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely not a planner in that way. Um, but, like, when we go on trips and stuff, I'll think of, like, a few things that we want to do. Definitely not a planner. Not a planner. (laughs) Okay, because the next question was, do you have a five-year plan? So, I'm guessing you do not. Five-year plan. I do have a five-year plan, though. Okay. Like, in the back of my mind, I know what I want to do in five years. So, what do you want to do in five years? I want to have at least one baby in five years. Mm -hmm. (laughs) The baby... And that could be two babies, like two, one or two babies. Yeah. Because they need to be, like, between two and four years apart. So, that's, like, five years. Um, I'm going back to school okay. to get a bachelor's in psychology. Um, I have an associate's degree in, like, chemical dependency counseling. Mm. But I want to keep going with that. 
Do you know what school you're going to? I am going to try and go back to Towson. Oh, okay. Um, I went to Towson right after high school, um, and I kind of crashed and burned, and then did like a 10-year run at community college while I was getting my shit together. <laughs> um, but now I'm excited to go back. Yeah. So that'll take probably five years, too, to get the bachelor's couple babies college no big deal <laughs> <laughs> okay do you have any vices vices i vape i love my nicotine i'm really proud of myself for stopping smoking though yeah i hate when people say that because you vape you still smoke because that's bullshit because quitting cigarettes was hard yeah um i drink one cup of coffee a day that's not a vice i pick i like pick my like fingernails and like bite my fingernails. I pop pimples. Mm-hmm. Love popping pimples. Do you watch like Dr. Pimple my favorite. Popper? I don't search it out, but okay. like I do thoroughly enjoy watching zits being popped. <laughs> it's so gross, but I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, share an embarrassing moment. Embarrassing moment. So I've seen some people talk about poop in these. Yeah. <laughs> and I've definitely, like, pooped my pants a couple times. <laughs> like, accidentally pooped my pants. Um, that's happened a couple times. I regularly do embarrassing things. I'm somebody who, like, walks into walls. I, like, turn a corner and, like, there's a wall right there. I bump some bruises all over myself. But the pants pooping is very embarrassing. Is this just something where you couldn't make it to the bathroom, or are there, like, stories behind any of these, like, situations? It's, like, an accident. Like, I farted, and I thought it was going to be a fart, and it was poop. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. (laughs) This is awful. It's fine. This is wonderful. (laughs) One of them was Christmas morning, and I had to... My brother and his girlfriend were there, and that happened and I was like standing outside and I had I like came back in the house with different pants on and nobody knew except for like my mom and my boyfriend he was my boyfriend then now he's my husband um but my brother and his girlfriend were like why do you have different pants on (laughs) they'll never know (laughs) oh my god um what is the hardest conversation you've had to have? Oh, man. I avoid hard conversations. I avoid hard conversations. I'm avoiding one right now with my parents. Um, I would like to have a conversation with my parents about, like, our family dynamics mm-hmm. since the like death of my brother yeah um are you close with your parents i am they're a big part of my life i care about them i don't see them as much as they would like for me to see them Mm -hmm. and but it would never be enough they would want to see me every day if i had the time for that um but I noticed that recently it's pretty superficial and like we're all kind of pretending that like we're not all dealing with this really terrible thing mm-hmm. and it's exhausting and I want to like connect with them and I want them to know like what I'm going through and how I'm dealing with it and I just want to talk to them about it um, but it's hard yeah my mom pisses me off because she doesn't do what I want her to do. <laughs> <laughs> typical mom. <laughs> typical mom. Very typical, like, mother-daughter stuff. Um, so, but it's, like, gotten worse since my brother died. Yeah. I think because I'm, like, like, deflecting my feelings about my brother being gone onto her. Mm. Um, she's much easier to be angry at because she's my mom and she loves me no matter what. Um, but I just want to have like a real conversation with her. And I don't want to because she'll cry and that makes me uncomfortable. So I avoid it. It's a circle. 
Yeah. I'm just going. So since you avoid hard conversations, um, the one with your family is bigger, but for smaller ones that are kind of uncomfortable, are you somebody that kind of like sends things through text so you don't have to see people? Or are you somebody that's like, we need to talk in person about this thing? Or do you just like not talk about it at all? I think I just don't talk about stuff. <laughs> um, I think I just don't talk about stuff. My, my husband and I talk. We don't text about anything. Yeah. Um, and we'll, like, have fights sometimes, and it's mostly because one of us is being selfish, and I don't know. But, like, we'll fight. We don't fight often. Um, just disagreements, you know? Like, when you're married to somebody, you're raised differently, you have different mm -hmm. family values, and you're, like, merging them when you're married. So it's, like, navigating, like, who's going to compromise here? Um, and I think we both do. But those are difficult conversations. Right. And in that case, I get, like, emotional. Um, not tearful, but, like, stubborn and... Then I can be mean sometimes. Yeah. Like name call and point out people's flaws when I'm upset about something. Mm. It's not a good quality. What's one piece of advice you could give to newlyweds or people that are planning to get married that you wish you had, like, when you first got married? Mm. Um, wedding planning is a really difficult time. I feel like everybody should know that wedding planning can be very, very stressful. And I... I thought that did like, you have tons of help yeah my mom you? did most of the actual like wedding planning okay um but it's the first time it can be the first time in a relationship it was the first time in our relationship that like our families were being merged in that way so like I have what I want it to look like my parents have what they want it to look like my parents are paying for it yeah and like my mother-in-law and um my husband have like what they want it to look like so mm. you're like merging all of those things and I was pretty selfish in that situation and I was like I'm the bride yeah, it's your day it's my day <laughs> um so like wedding planning is tough but, like, we are just, like, there for each other. Mm. Um, like, we make sure we spend, like, quality time together every day. Um, we're lucky that we can do that every day. And, like, we'll watch TV together. We'll check in how each other's day was. Um, do you so guys have, like, a cute meeting story? Like, or is it just, like... It's not a cute meeting story. We met through friends. We were at the diner in Timonium. Um, just, like, hanging out with a group of people and we kind of flirted for a little while yeah um and one day he asked me out and the rest is history i yeah. still like that <laughs> it's, it's like a classic for sure yeah so organic and it's not like mm -hmm. so i was on tinder <laughs> no this was before tinder i'm really glad i missed the tinder boat because yeah. that would have been you're bad. very lucky that you didn't have to deal with the dating app scene yeah. because it's not cute no. It's not cute. That sucks. Pray for us all. I will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you feel will restore connection, like, in our generation? Ooh. Doing stuff like this. People don't, like, share themselves with other people. It's, like, people rely on, like, superficial connection and drinking. Mm. Like, everybody drinks. I don't drink. Um like going to bars and like you don't, there's no way that that can foster like a genuine meaningful connection when you're like getting fucked up with somebody mm -hmm. um i really like like one-on-one -on -one conversations mm, same. Um, and i feel like there's not enough of that and people are different like some people like big social groups and other people like smaller intimate stuff um but like making taking the time to get to know people yeah asking the tough questions and just like and answering honestly i'm so sick of people just like saying i'm fine like, yeah tell me more than that 
Right. That like, you're any, not That fine. doesn't mean anything. Yeah. You're okay. Don't put yourself out there. Right? Um, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen? Craziest thing I've ever seen? I feel like I haven't seen a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> That's such a, that could, they, these questions are so broad. Oh my gosh, they could mean so many things. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think I've seen it yet. I don't think I've seen the craziest thing that I will see in my lifetime. Donald Trump getting elected president might be up there though. That was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. Okay. <laughs> um, do you look up to anyone? I I look up to my dad. My dad I really look up to. He's like kind and generous and genuine and supportive. Um, he's always been like somebody that I can lean on and talk to when I'm struggling about something and he always knows exactly what to say. Mm. Um, I look up to my mother um, because, I mean, Jesus, she drives me crazy, but she raised me and, like, I am her, mm. which I don't love all the time, but she, like, had an amazing career. She was, like, the backbone of our family for a really long time, um, and she's been through some shit. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So I'm doing this, like, new thing with people where I want them to go through, like, all of the senses. Mm. Um, just to kind of, like, tap into the moment, I guess. Okay. So what is your favorite smell? Favorite smell? Well, this candle that I have on right now smells really good. What is it called? It is really amazing. Let's see. Is it from Anthropology? It's from Anthropology. Okay. Goji Taroko Orange. I have no idea what that means, yeah, but it smells Um, I like the smell of, like, cinnamon. Mm. Like, like, baked cinnamon something. <laughs> That's good. Okay. And what is, like, the most beautiful thing to you? Like, what is really aesthetically pleasing? Aesthetically pleasing? Um... I think of like like the mountains and like the blue sky and trees and grass like nature um like the color blue the ocean things that remind me of nature mm. I think I like that so as far as touch like what I guess is most comforting for you to touch or that can't touch you like a fabric Ooh, or like clean that. sheets there like that is one of the best feelings is getting into bed with like really fresh clean sheets that's good like so, yes that's a good feeling do you have any soothing sounds that you listen to or anything that when you hear it it makes you feel like hmm like the rain like rain thunderstorms love the sound of thunderstorms um, I sleep with a, like, noise app on to kind of cancel out the street sounds yeah. and all of that. And that is, like, a thunderstorm. And that's, that's good. Okay. And I guess your favorite food, since that's the only thing you really should be tasting, is things you can eat. Things so, you like. can eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, favorite food is peanut butter and jelly. I could eat peanut butter and jelly every single day and be totally happy and content with it. Um, love peanut butter and jelly. Do you make them in any special way? Like, do you do, like, no crust? Do you, like, cut it in a certain I, way? Or are you... I have sent... I put peanut butter on both sides of the bread. Okay. Because that... My dad taught me that because he made my peanut butter and jellies when I was little. You put peanut butter on both sides because, first of all, it's extra peanut butter and that's the point of the peanut butter and jelly <laughs> and it keeps the jelly from making the bread mushy mm. so that's a good tip um i like whole grain bread i like extra crunchy jiff peanut butter um 
with like a good mixed berry um like jam or jelly mm -hmm. it's so good that sounds delicious yeah and now i'm hungry i just got hungry <laughs> um what do you question most what do i question most am i doing this right like life <laughs> Like, am I doing my job right? Am I doing, like, my relationship right? Am I being, like, the right daughter? Yeah. Um, and that's, like, am I enough? Um, that's, like, one of my, like, core beliefs is that, like, I'm not enough. Like, who I am as a person. Like, I need to be more. I need to be better. I need to be something different than I am. Yeah. Um, and that's something that I'm working on. Um, what's missing? Very open-ended question. What's missing? Stuff from me, obviously, no. Um, I don't know what's missing. What's missing? It's the most open-ended question ever. There's like never enough time, there's never enough money, never enough like motivation. What's missing for me is motivation to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, like go to the gym, eat better, change, be better. It goes back to I'm not enough. Um, yeah, motivation. Mm -hmm. I need some of that. Okay, and if I was give everyone the same scenario, if everything in the world shut down, like electronically, but the phones, the computers, the TVs were still on, and it was like PSA, public service announcement, and then it was your face. Mm. So like, what would you say to the world? What do you think the world needs to hear? Oh my gosh, I don't want that much power. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> I'm not qualified. Um... I don't know. Everybody, they need to be kind to each other. Like, these these terrible things are going on in the world. And, like, gun violence and, like, women losing their reproductive rights. Mm -hmm. And um, just, I'm going to sound really ignorant right now. But there's just so much, like, so much stuff. And I just think people need to be kind. Yeah. Like, just because you have different beliefs or values than another person does not mean that your way is better than their way. It just means that it's different. Right. Um, and we need to accept that. Like, there are different cultures. We live in a huge, big world, and the internet and phones make it seem really small, but it's still different. Right. Um, and we need to accept that. For sure. So thank you so much for doing this. Oh you are gosh. amazing. Let me see what you drew. Mm. It's boxes. Oh, I mean, I like it. I actually like, really like that. Is that pink? Oh, it's like There's purple like from pink here. and purple and yeah. blue. It's very geometric. I have no artistic ability, <laughs> but I like mixing colors. So that's what you got. Well, I like it. Can you sign it and beat it? Sweet. The blue. This is Sarah in the flesh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>